precipitation over the next couple days. Well, it's really going to be focused in the southern states. Wednesday morning, you're seeing areas of Texas and Oklahoma. So definitely sticking in the south, seeing that precipitation and possibly could see some severe weather areas again in Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, under a threat for low chances for severe weather associated with this system that's going to be moving through. And then a lot more, more moisture comes out of the Gulf and impacts a large portion of the United States up into the Midwest. Great Lakes seeing a good amount of rainfall as we go into Thursday, continuing for a large portion of the day on Thursday, continuing to see a lot of that moisture as we get into Friday. But notice the western portions of the United States starting to see high pressure set up. And as we go into the weekend, that high pressure starts to dominate across the United States. That'll continue to move east, bringing lots of high pressure, clear skies to the United States as we go through the weekend and into next week. A check of our drought monitor here focused on the eastern portions of the United States. Well, they were seeing some extreme areas of drought a couple weeks ago, and for the most part that is cleared up, but still seeing some severe areas in Pennsylvania and then down into Florida. We are seeing extreme areas in Florida, especially down there in the southern half. Going up to the north central states, seeing some extreme droughts in areas like uh, South Dakota and into Iowa as well. And then taking a look in those southern states as well, extreme to even exceptional droughts across Texas, southwest Texas, into New Mexico, Arizona, even parts of Nevada as well. Now taking a look at what we're expecting for precipitation outlook, May 4th to the 8th, really splitting the United States in half, the eastern half, expecting to be pretty dry, especially in those Midwest and Southern Great Lakes areas, and then the western half, a large portion of it expected to be wetter than normal. Castor, Louisiana, high of 83, low of 64. Oak Ridge, Tennessee, high of 85, low of 63. Finally, North Conway, New Hampshire, high of 58, low of 35.